Hello Children. Today, I'm also going to read a book called Fantastically Great Women Who Changed the World. And the author was Kate Pankhurst. And it's published by Bloomsbury Children's Book. And I'm going to read a part of the book about Mary Anning, who walked in the footsteps of dinosaurs. Mary Anning was born, born in Lyme Regis, England. At the time, people believed that the world was only thousands of years old. Mary's interests in fossils helped prove that the world was actually millions of years old. Imagine what could be beneath our feet. Mary's family made a living by selling fossils they found on the beach to wealthy tourists in the early 1800s. Nobody was quite sure what these fossils were. Mary was intrigued and went on to make some monster discoveries. In 1812, when she was 13 years old, Mary discovers the skeleton of a creature that has never been seen before. Scientists come to see it and name the prehistoric sea monster Ichthyosaur. Huge monsters once swam in the sea. In 1820, Mary finds a skeleton of a five meter long sea creature. Again, scientists rush to the new discovery. The creature is named Plyceosaur. And in 1828, Mary uncovers the skeleton of a pterosaur, a flying dinosaur that had never been found in Britain before. Mary was very good at fossil hunting, far better than the male scientists who wrote books about the fossils she found. But for years, because she was a poor woman who had never been to school, nobody bothered to mention Mary's hard work. Today, Mary is recognised as one of the first and most important paleontologists that's a scientist who studies dinosaurs and history. Wow, I am a paleontologist. <laughs>